hello guys uh, welcome to this video so so we have successfully installed all our requirements okay now in this video actually i'll be writing the drive.py so uh, so before that what i will do uh, here i will create one file called uh, drive.py okay drive.py and uh, here actually i'll be writing all the code so first of all here you need to define uh, some of the libraries okay so i need to import some of the libraries suppose here i'm using socket io i'm importing socket io then i'm uh, importing this uh, eventlet okay numpy flask then your keras uh, i'm load, uh, like i'm importing my load model okay because i need to load this model okay model.h5 then base 64 and this one okay and your cb2 that means your open cb okay so these are the library actually i need now first of all you need to uh, define your uh, socket io server and your flask server okay so for that this code actually you need to write okay so it will initialize your socket io server and your flask server okay and here i am taking one variable called speed limit okay so this variable i need uh, whenever i will be defining my final function okay like that function will send the uh, okay string angle uh, to the udacity simulator okay and i also need to define my pre-processing function here because i think you remember uh, during training actually i was applying some of the pre-processing okay on my data so at the time of prediction okay also i need to define the same uh, function because uh, whenever uh, it will send a okay suppose if i open my simulator so let me open my simulator okay so guys this is my simulator now if i click on autonomous mode okay so see uh, it's not running because it is not connected with my code okay and uh, see whenever i'll be like launching this uh, autonomous mode okay at the time what will happen it will connect with your python okay and it will keep on sending the images okay in the back end that means here okay and that image i i also need to pre-process okay before doing the prediction because my data has been already trained okay with this processed image okay so at the time of the prediction itself okay i i also need to process my data like that okay so that's why i'm defining the same processing function i think you remember the processing function we have defined uh i think you remember in our uh, notebook okay notebook itself so here uh see this is the image processing function the same function i'm using okay so yes guys this function you need to define now now here you need to define one method okay called connect so this method actually uh will start okay so this method actually will help you to connect with your uh you can say python code okay uh, like it will connect uh, with your udacity simulator okay but here if you see inside the function i'm calling another function called send control okay but this function i haven't defined so let's define also so guys uh, this is the method so this method actually what it will do uh, it will take the starting angle okay and throttle okay from the prediction itself okay because uh, see throttle i won't be passing because throttle uh, we haven't predicted okay we only predicted the starting angle okay so that's why I only need need this storing angle data okay and total by default you can also send zeros it's also fine so basically what it will do this function will take so basically what it will do this function will take a storing angle okay uh, from the prediction of your model and it will keep on sending to the simulator okay to the simulator okay and this value okay uh, this value will come here like storing angle will come here okay and the string angle it will be predicting it will come here and your car will move in that position okay so that's actually i'm not pressing my up arrow like here i'm not pressing my arrow keys okay instead of that what i'm doing i'm predicting that angle okay from my model itself okay and if you are able to send that prediction that means your starting angle position to this simulator okay then your car would be able to okay uh, drive okay so that is what i need to perform here okay but how we can predict okay how we can predict so for that we need to define another method so guys this is the final method so i named it like uh, telemetry okay so what it will do actually here if you see it will first of all your okay load up your image image from where it will get it will get from this uda city simulator okay this image will be like keep on sending here it will convert this image to base 64 okay it will decode that to base 64 okay then it will convert to the numpy array then it will process okay see this is the pre-processing function it is calling then it will process after that again it will convert to numpy array okay then here i am loading my model and my model is predicting okay on top of that image it will send what it will send your starting angle okay so this starting angle i am printing here see i am doing the printing operation and after that i am sending this starting angle okay in my send control function okay 
and also I'm like uh, creating the total because see here uh, this is like one calculation I'm doing so basically what I'm doing I'm just uh, like uh, subtracting uh, like from 1.0 okay I'm subtra uh, subtracting the speed and the speed limit okay I'm dividing by speed limit so it will give me the total okay so you can also skip this one but what happened actually if you are not passing this total okay uh, to this uh, Udacity simulator at that time actually it will like give some of the error okay so to overcome the error okay you can send this kinds of total value okay so I I was uh, like you can say exploring on the internet then I got to know like if I follow this equation okay so it would be good okay to uh, create this total okay total value so you don't you don't have to consider this total value only you just consider this starting angle okay so this is what I only need okay and this is what I am just sending as a as, a, as an optional because if I'm not passing this one my simulator will throw some error okay so that's why so whenever it's done now here if you see it's giving error because we haven't defined the model okay so now for that what I need to do so guys this is my final code so here basically I'm initializing all of them here if you see I'm loading my model so this is my model path so inside model I have model.h5 so model slash model.h5 then I'm calling my socket IO then I'm launching the server okay and if you see it will listen to this port okay and automatically it will like connect to this UDA city simulator because it will also because it will also keep on running on this port okay so that's how actually you can connect uh, UDA city simulator okay using this socket IO socket IO package and this flask okay flask uh, uh, you can say framework okay so these two things you need if you want to connect with UDA city simulator okay so I yeah I so I think uh, you got it like what are the things we have done so basically uh, this is the final function okay it will do the prediction and it will give you the turning angle okay and this is turning angle you need to provide inside send control function this send control function will keep on sending this value to your UDA city simulator okay and wherever and whenever it will get the value okay based on that actually it will drive the car okay so I think you got it now to understand in a better way so what I so what I can do I can execute this code and I will show you like how it will work okay so for that I will open my terminal and uh, first of all let's uh, go back because I need to go back here okay now here just write python drive.py okay now let's execute see guys uh, it has started now if I open my simulator okay and now if I click on autonomous mode now here if you see it has connected and now see it's predicting the value guys see it's predicting the value so this is your so if I show you so guys this is your value okay this is your starting position value okay now see this value it is sending here okay and based on that actually your ca car is moving see guys so this car is like driving automatically I'm not doing anything okay so we have successfully made the autonomous car okay now let's observe like sometimes like how it is working amazing guys like it's uh driving perfectly see guys it's not like colliding with anything perfectly uh it's just keep on moving okay guys amazing like so you have uh so congratulations guys uh you have uh implemented your first self-driving car so just let me know uh what fling you are having right now okay and try to comment below okay see guys it's uh, driving perfectly okay now this was our training route okay so here actually it will work fine we do we already know because we have trained uh, like uh, okay because we have trained our model okay in this environment okay that's why it will perform better now let's test this car in the other environment okay so for that what i will do i will again go back and i will select the second track and i will again click on the autonomous mode okay now see guys this is your second track and guys here Okay, if you see, it is it is performing well, guys. See, it is able to drive perfectly. Okay, amazing, guys. Uh, I think you like this. Okay, I think you like this uh, entire uh, course. Uh, so yes, guys. I think uh, it it will be driving perfectly. I think uh, you already saw like what I did here. So yes, guys. Uh, this is all uh, from this course. I think you have learned a lot. Uh, just uh, try to subscribe to my channel so that I can get motivation to come up with this kinds of like amazing course okay for you 
and try to share these videos with your uh, friends and family okay try to tell them like uh, so you can also tell them like this kinds of youtube channel is there okay so you can learn uh different different like uh things okay from this youtube channel so try to share this channel with your friends and family uh okay so yes guys i think uh i'm done with this course so just try to uh implement this one okay from your side try to keep explore okay as much as you can okay if you are not exploring from your side then it would be very hard okay so and i will suggest just try to like uh uh, use some other simulator like here i have used this udacity simulator you can go with other simulator okay and try to implement your own self-driving car and you can also uh, mention me on linkedin guys uh, so i i think i have provided my linkedin uh, like you can say profile in the description okay just try, try to uh, build this kinds of self-driving car okay try to build this self-driving car and uh, what you can do you just record your screen okay that's how like see it's working right now try to record your screen and try to post on your uh, this one linkedin okay try to mention me there so that uh, i will be uh, like happy to see that okay so it will be like really very motivation for me like i have done something okay so yes guys uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this video and i will see you next time